Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Skills and Abilities. Um, today we're going to be looking at um, the companion skill to Throwing Mastery. Now I have already covered Throwing Mastery and if you would like to learn a little bit more about Throwing Mastery, uh, I do recommend that you check out my Throwing Mastery video, which uh, which is up on my channel. Um, this video, however, is not going to be about Throwing Mastery itself, but is going to be about Double Throw, which is the companion to Throwing Mastery, and allows you to throw your weapons at an increased damage amount, as well as give you some attack rating in the process. Now, recently they have changed the way that uh, Double Throw works. So, Double Throw used to, in the past, provide no increase in damage on its own. Uh, if you guys have never checked this out before, um, I am, well, this is, this is the first time you are learning this. So Double Throw did not actually get any increase in damage in the past uh, before 2.4, which comes out on April 14th, by the way. And um, it only got a synergy bonus of plus 8% damage per level from Double Throw. So it didn't actually get any damage increase itself before. Um, now it does get a damage increase of, uh, was it 24% to 40, 40 to 48, 48 to 56, and so forth and so on. It gets its own damage increase up to a nice uh, hefty amount of 192%. Then you can also now stack on the double swing along with it to bring it up to a nice healthy 344%, uh, which is a hell of a lot more than it ever got to before. Combined with changes to throwing mastery, which allow you to be able to replenish, uh, pierce, and also have the ability to not even lose durability at all on some of this stuff, it's actually pretty darn cool because quite honestly, um, throwing barbarian has now sort of come back to life. Uh, now, of course, f Double Throw is a very interesting ability because it does require you to have two weapons to use it. So if you do not have two weapons, two throwing items on, uh, you will not be able to utilize this skill. And that is uh, a very important thing to consider. So, for instance, I right now I have two Warshrike Winged Knives on. And um, these Warshrike, Warshrike Winged Knives... Uh, will only allow me to use double throw if I am using two items. Uh, it doesn't have to be two of the same item, but it does have to be two throwing items. And um, and as you can see here, as long, as long as I have two items on, I can throw to my heart's content. But if I take one of those items I off, can't. I can no longer use Impossible. double throw. Um, this is actually kind of interesting because double throw, as well as double swing and frenzy, all require two weapons. So you can theoretically build all three of these together with pretty nice effect. So for instance, if I wanted to be a frenzy slash throwing barbarian, uh, one of the easiest things I could do would be to use frenzy, build up frenzy stacks, and then once I've built up enough frenzy stacks, back off and just start shucking daggers at insane speed levels. Um, as you can see, chucking daggers with the double throw ability is extremely fast. And um, if I were to throw them normally, you can see not quite as fast or as useful as the double throw ability, which obviously is throwing two at one time for, honestly, a little bit faster than the regular throw. So we're getting almost, what, like three times the speed that we normally would have. Now, in the past... This was actually a pretty big issue because, well, it was pretty difficult to keep your quantity in check. You were running back to town all the time, you were repairing all the time, and uh, and if you do take a look at my video covering a throwing mastery, you will see that throwing mastery has been revamped to such a degree that the barbarian is no longer running back to town all the time. Um, and to give you a taste of this, uh, let me just show you um, kind of what you're looking at. So right now I have the Warshrike Winged Knife. Um, actually, you know what? Let's take the Warshrikes off. We don't even need the Warshrikes. Let's put on a non-replenishing item because the Warshrikes have a replenishes quantity effect. We're going to put on a non-replenishing ethereal Gimmer Shred, which means it will eventually break. And um, what I want you to see here is I want you to see that the Gimmer Shred not only doesn't diminish in quantity, but actually goes up. 
So right now I have the uh, Gimmer Shred Flying Axe, Ethereal version, which is 242 quantity. And these cannot be repaired at the shop, by the way. And, uh, and I am just going to start chucking. And I want you to see that not only does it not go down, but it more often than not increases in quantity. As you can see, I'm at 256, 256, 257, 259, 260. I mean, I could do this all day. I can literally do this to the point where I will have absolutely no issue uh, running out. Now, in my testing with Throwing Mastery, um, a lot of the things that I've found out is that, uh, well, critical strikes do in fact replenish quantity, um, but so does Deadly Strike. So here I have a High Lord's Wrath amulet, and when I take off the High Lord's Wrath amulet, you will notice that uh, the the ability for me to regenerate stacks isn't quite as great as it was with the amulet. It still works, but it definitely works a lot better with the amulet than it does without it. And in some cases, you'll notice that it actually starts to decrease if my rolls are terrible. Um, so with the War Strike Winged Knives that have 50% Deadly Strike on them, combined with the 37% on the High Lord's Wrath, you can actually effectively just throw these forever with absolutely no deterioration whatsoever in the quantity, which is pretty amazing. Um, I never expected it to be that ridiculous, and who knows, they might actually balance it out at some point, because quite honestly, that's really ridiculous. Um, and uh, and, and you, you're, you're going to run out of mana long before you're going to run out of throwing items. Um, not only that, but, you know, just having these amazing uh, piercing abilities uh, has really kind of upped the game. Especially when dealing with items that have chance to cast. Now, there, of course, are better items than um, than just simply the ones I'm wearing. And the ability to potentially use ethereal throwing items for the first time ever that do not have replenish this quantity on them could potentially mean we might be looking at some new best in slot items for a potential throwing barb. Um, if you happen to come across like the most perfect throwing item that was ethereal, cruel modified, uh, you know, maybe had like dual life leech on it and a bunch of other very nice effects, maybe with plus to skills, um, I could potentially see a perfect sort of ethereal awesome throwing item, maybe taking the number one spot for a throwing barbarian. Um, but back to double throw. So double throw really hasn't been changed too terribly much uh, from its previous versions. It still gives attack rating. It still gives the damage from a double swing, but now it also gives its own damage as well. Um, and for comparison, uh, let's take a look really quickly at this one, which is 270% attack rating, 376% uh, damage when maxed out. And we're going to go over to the uh, base game, non-public test realm, and we're going to look at the original version, uh, which is the, um, the 2.3 Throwing Mastery, or the one that we've all known and loved for a very long period of time is the, uh, the original Throwing Mastery. And that one is not as good. All right, and here we are over on the um, the 2.3 version of the game, and I'm going to show you guys uh, what a double throw looks like when it's maxed out on the previous version of the game. So as you can see here, with level 30 double throw, uh, which is relatively high, what were we on the other one? Level 27 or something like that? I can always take off a piece of equipment and uh, see if we can see if we can match up. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit more correct. So as you can see, 280% uh, attack rating at level 27 with no bonus to damage at all except for the 8% that comes from double swing. So in the past, the only bonus damage that you could get from throwing, or rather double throw, was the bonus from double swing itself and also the bonus from throwing mastery. But as you can see, throwing mastery is a pale mockery of the new version. And also, the damage bonus that you get from double throw only brings you up to 160%. 
So you would only have effectively had 160 plus 138% in the previous patch. But with the new patch, we get a very nice extra bonus on double throw itself, as well as all the very nice effects from throwing mastery, which allow you to have a far increased quantity on most of your throwing items, which is definitely very nice. Um, it's important to talk about uh, the synergy between double throw and other abilities. So if you are planning to build double throw, it's kind of a no-brainer to build synergies for double throw. Um, so le let's talk about this weirdness real quick. Uh, let's assume for a second that you were going to be a throwing barbarian. And you were going to build double throw as your main ability. So you put 20 points into double throw, and then you realize that double swing also offers you an 8% damage per level um, per point, right? So you put 20 points into double swing. Now you have built, rather unwittingly, the synergies for Frenzy. So Frenzy also gets an 8% damage per level from double swing. So when you beef up double swing to increase the damage of double throw, you are in effect beefing up the damage of Frenzy as well. And this is the reason why a lot of throwing barbarians tend to also be Frenzy barbarians, because the synergies just line up so dang well. Um, you can very easily put 20 points into double swing, double throw, and Frenzy, which is 20, 40, 60, and have a very, very nice setup here. Uh, usually what people will do is they will use Frenzy to gain the attack speed bonus. Now it is important to note that the damage bonus on Frenzy does not transfer to other abilities, uh, which is rather unfortunate. Um, you will lose the damage bonus. However, if you use Frenzy and you build up stacks on Frenzy, um, you will be able to build up attack speed for your double throw, uh, which is one of the reasons why people will like to build Frenzy along with double throw. And this also gives them a melee attack, which they can use in conjunction with their double throw ability. Um, it's also very important to note that when throwing an item, you will always be using throwing mastery. It does not matter what this throwing item is. It could be a throwing dagger. It could be a throwing spear. It could be a throwing ax. Uh, but when thrown, it always uses throwing mastery. However, when you use your throwing item as a weapon, for instance, in double swing or frenzy, it is using the spear, axe, or dagger mastery instead. So in those situations, you may want to, if you're going to double build, for instance, double throw and frenzy together, which is very common, you're probably going to want to put at least one point into the appropriate mastery of the throwing items that you plan to use. Um, and since they have changed sword mastery to blade mastery in 2.4, um, we can now use blade mastery to increase the damage of throwing daggers. And, uh, and I'd like to show you that as well. So let me hop back over to 2.4 and I'll show you that real quick. All right, so here we are back on 2.4, and, uh, and in 2.4 you'll see that Sword Mastery has been changed to Blade Mastery. So it is important to note that if you're using throwing daggers, like the Warshrank Winged Knife, it will apply as a dagger class weapon. And if you are using throwing axes, and you are using them as a melee attack, again, throwing axes will apply as a axe, axe mastery, and so forth and so on. So make sure that you're paying attention um, to what weapons that you want to use. If you do tend to, uh, intend to mix together two different types, like for instance, maybe you want to use a war strike and a Gimmer Shred together, well, in that case, you know, you might want to put one point into both axe mastery and dagger mastery, or rather blade mastery, uh, just simply because one point with your plus to skills will probably help you out a lot more than not having it at all. I wouldn't recommend building double masteries, um, not unless you really want to go deep into uh, into that sort of thing. Uh, but uh, but I, I can't say that putting one point into the appropriate mastery so that when you are attacking in melee range is a bad thing. 
Um, if I was running a two axis, for instance, like maybe I wanted to run an ethereal gimmer shred along with a lacerator, uh, which is a pretty good combination, by the way. Um, the lacerator and the ethereal gimmer shred would work really well together. Um, I could also potentially run maybe um, war strike winged knife and something else. Uh, whatever it is that I'm running, I just kind of want to pay attention to what the classes of the weapons are so that I know, you know, what I'm getting into and what points I would need to put my, my points into. And of course, if you were not going to go to Frenzy, if you were not going to build Frenzy and you didn't care about Double Swing and you were just going to be a throwing barb, just bar none, you wouldn't have to worry about any of those other masteries, of course, because as long as you're throwing it, remember, it always works under throwing mastery, and that's fine. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, uh, even when I am throwing objects at the screen. And uh, as always, keep watching.